it's time to set up the variables for our bootstrap project. So the custom folder that Bootstrap gives us is really awesome. It gives us a place where we can go in and take all of the variables they've already created and modify them for our own without actually having to touch theirs. We're just overwriting things. And because this is all being done with SAS, we're not actually bloating up a file by having overwrites over things. It's just gonna compile it after the fact. So all of the things, you know, if I change the color of the primary to from blue to red, which I'm gonna be doing in this project, it's going to do it before it turns into CSS. So we're not bloating anything, we're creating needless overrides. We can set it all up really easily. So let's go and look at how we do that right now. Okay guys, so uh, I talked a lot about this custom file. Now, one thing that's really important with this, uh, they actually made a mistake with this. With If you're on the Alpha 6, if you're on, for some reason, an older version of the Alpha, this would be in the right place. And if you're around on whatever the newer one is, I believe it will be the uh, beta, but if it's another Alpha, whatever it is, uh, this custom will be somewhere else. But if you're following along, you've got to move it up to here. It was They were playing with stuff, and this is the fun of dealing with pre-releases. Uh, sometimes they make mistakes, so it's just really important you move that up there, and I'll show you why once we get uh, later on in the project. But do make sure you do that if you're on the Alpha 6. Um, and now I want to use this custom folder. I want to do stuff with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to their variables file, because we're going to have to do a lot of digging around in the variables file here to know what we actually want to be doing. Um, so this is a massive file, and Table of contents is super useful for this, just so you know, uh, and I'll show you a bit how to use the table of contents properly. Um, or we can do that right away. I want to do my colors, so I'm going to select it, Command F, and hit Find, and it's going to bring me there. Um, so I want to overwrite some of the colors that are in here, because these are not the colors that I want to be using. So what I'm going to do is let's go over to Photoshop and open up the project, and first thing we can do is switch the red over because this is the red that I'm going to be using the most through the project. So I can push OK on that. I got my red. Did you guys see that on the screen? I should move that over. Sorry about that. We can copy that, push OK. I can shrink that back down. And now with my red here. Now, what, they, what we don't want to be doing is replacing this number. What I want to do is go over, actually, I'm going to copy that whole thing, come over to custom, and paste this in. We remove default, and it says this right at the top. Just remove the default, uh, does it? Uh, oh, it doesn't mention it here. Make sure you take the default off. That's gonna cause problems. If you don't take that off, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna take the default off. Let's go back to Photoshop to get my red again. Copy, E23400, that's pretty easy to remember actually. And I'm gonna paste that. And now my red has changed, so that's cool. Uh, let's go see what else we can change. We're going to want to change a few different things. So my black is going to change. Uh, let's just take all the colors, actually. Let's take all... Whoops, too far, too far. I'm going to start with all of this, but we're not going to keep all of it, just to make it a bit... So we're not jumping back and forth. My white is going to stay white, so I don't need that. Black is going to change. Red, I've already changed. Uh, orange... I don't think I need any of these other ones actually. Let's just go look fast. White, black, red. There's a dark gray color that I'll be using. Red, gray, black, red. Yeah, that's the only colors that I think I, I, I'm actually going to use. So I can delete all of that. My red is redefined. My black will be... Okay, let's just see here. Um, these I think I'm going to play with a little bit too, so we'll get to there in a second. My brand primary is going to get switched over to red, because that's the makes the most sense to me. And interesting thing, they're dropping the whole brand primary success info. All this, starting in the next version, might be gone. Um, with the beta, it looks like they're going to be dropping that. And if you're wondering how I know that, um, they've started, if you go to the GitHub page, and read some of the documentation and stuff in there. And um, yeah, it looks like these are gonna get stripped out and it's they're gonna have a they're gonna go with more of a color naming system instead, which is gonna take some adjustment for me. Um, so brand primary is definitely gonna be red for me, as long as this is still here. Um, and I guess that's the only thing we need to change, right? That makes it easy. Okay. 
Um, so we'll just dump all that. We can always come back in here and add something else if we have to. Uh, gray, let's rename my gray color as, this will be my black actually, right? Cause that's like the darkest color. I'm gonna do this one as black. Let's just, we don't need to minimize that. Let's just, um, my black will become this one. And my gray will be this one. Uh, gray will be this one and everything else here we can get rid of. And I'm gonna get rid of some of those comments. I don't really need them. Cool. So those are the main things that I'll be using in there. Um, let's just go quick and look at if there's any other variables. Uh, enable rounded by default is on and I don't want that to be on. So I'm gonna turn that off. So I'm gonna take that over to my custom and make this false. Except you have to spell false, right? False. I don't want rounded corners. My buttons and other stuff are all square. So that's all of a sudden everything that had a round corner no longer has a round corner. Uh, shadows, gradients, I'm not using. Transitions on, that's fine. Fine, glid classes I do want. Print classes I do want. Spacing I'm not going to play with. So let's go back up and look at the table of contents. Um, just to see if there's anything. Links I probably want to be changing, right? So I'm going to hit a, let's go look at the body too. Uh, Command F, find, and we're on the body. So body background color, see, yep, here's some stuff I wanna change. Um, I'm just gonna take these two, cause I'm not gonna have any inverse body colors and all of that anyway. Uh, right, right, so let's jump back here, paste, whoops. So my body background will be black and this will be white. I guess my text color is white most of the time, right? Yeah, I just use pure white. Perfect. Um, okay, so that's good, good, good. Oh, just realized guys, uh, a small problem here because, and this is probably why they moved the custom underneath um, originally. And maybe they found a way to, to fix this, but because I, they'd move custom underneath so you wouldn't run into problems like this. Because if I'm saving this here, uh, it's giving me an error that it can't, it doesn't know what white is because white hasn't actually been defined yet. So I do have to come in here and actually define what white is. White is uh, FFF. So that should be okay. I should be able to save this and everything should be compiling properly now. Uh, I believe so. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Awesome possum. We're good to go. And I think that's all the variables we're going to need in this project. I might be jumping in that file as we go through this project later on if, you know, I notice that there's something missing. But more or less, I think that's it. In the next video, we're going to be doing the markup for this website. And because our variables are pretty much set, everything should just fall into place more or less. There'll be some tweaking and some stuff that will definitely need to be done. But a lot of our work really is, is done after this. It's just all the details and stuff like that. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you have any comments, any questions whatsoever, leave them down below. And until next time, try and make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.